Hey planner friends. So I am finally going to come on here while I'm recovering from surgery. I actually have some time. Uh, bear with me. I'm a little bit nauseous right now and in a little bit of pain, um, but I have time to film a quick pen test video on my freely planned um, Tomoe River paper notebooks. This is my personal use B6 that I've been using since um, I want to say June or July. So July. Um, it's been good to me. I have a few different pens here to try out and um, I know it's been heavily requested. I did do a quick reel video with um, like a little pen swatch test back in like May for my Freely Noted week size notebook, but I'm going to do like a little bit more of an in-depth. This might be quick though because like I said, I'm not feeling the best right now. Um, so anyways, this is a VB6 size. Um, it has 224 pages. It's the one with the um, blank calendars in the front and then in the back it's just all this grid paper. I have heavily used this notebook. It's been great to me. It's holding up really well and I definitely, it's my favorite. My favorite. So, the cover I have on this right now is a Lauren Phelps Designs cover. Soon, in about a month from now, I will be releasing the LPD XPMC cover. It's just a basic clear cover um, that we did in the week size, but I'm going to have it in B6 and A5 size in the Planner Monkey Co. Shop. But it's just basic and clear, has different pocket variation, um, but I'm really excited. So, without further ado, let me find a blank page here. Maybe I will go to the next one. So yeah, we'll use this page. Whew, this is actually harder than I thought. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to start with a few pens here that I have um, pulled out on the side. This is the 2021 Hobonichi Tesho pen. It's the Uniball like four color pen, you know, the basic ballpoint. Um, so I'm going to... Sorry if I bonk the um, camera. I'm just going to put Uniball pen because I forget what it's actually called. I'm uh, dizzy right now so if I bonk the camera or if my writing looks funny that is why. It's probably not the best idea to do right now but this is when I've honestly had the time. Before my surgery um, I definitely had zero time. I was barely sleeping a few hours because I was trying to get everything done so that I could take this time off of work. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry. I know there's a few people that really wanted to see one beforehand, but I just didn't have the time. I couldn't go lower than four hours of sleep. So um, this is the micro micron micron in the PN. I'm not even writing in the grids because my my um vision is a little dizzy. <laughs> Muji. I think that's the lights. I was feeling fine before I sat down here. So maybe that's why. This is the Muji gel pen in the 0.38. Um, I'll show you so far. You know, as you know, Tomoe River Paper does have some ghosting on the back. It's very thin. This is a 52 GSM white Tomoe River Paper. So this is a Uniball gel pen. It's really thick really old so it skips a lot too. Actually it's not even that old because I barely used it but I think that's why I haven't used it because I don't like pens that skip. So I've done those. Now let's try a Tombow marker. This is N57. Oh, I can't even take the cap off of the pen. Tombow N57. And then we can try like a gray and 65. I think they're both the same tone. I was trying to pull some that are different, but Tumbo and 65. Um, maybe this light one we'll try. I don't even know which one this is because I've used it so heavily it's rubbed off. So I'm just gonna draw that line and then I'll try this dark brown. This is 977 but I don't know if there was a number in front of it or a letter sorry anyways so so far that is the result 
Let's try the Pentel RSVP. RSVP. This is just a regular old pen. This is actually one of my old favorites. This here is a current favorite. This is the Energel Klena in a 0.4. Um, let's see. This is a Sarasa R, um, in a 0 0.4, whatever that means. <laughs> um, this here is a Faber-Castell, um, this is a brush pen. I think it's in the B, whatever that means. Trying to spell it right. This is in a V. As those are some of my favorite pens, actually. This here is the Energel Klena, and I think this is in a 05. I love the penguins. If you guys know me, you know I love penguins. So this is actually one of my favorite pens that I use mostly for like the toppings here if that makes sense not the toppings the head airs um after i tombow and then i usually use a zero four here or i use this pen here which is my all-time favorite next to the energel cleaners cleaners it's a uniball signo 038 this is like my daily to go pen um on tomoe river paper i don't use um this is the Unibel Signal R21. I don't use fountain pens. I have a couple I bought like three months ago and I haven't even set them up. So I cannot pen test fountain pens for you because I just haven't had the time. I don't even know what this is because it's all in Japanese. Pentel. I know it's a Pentel and it just says touch um, in English. So. It's just like a thicker, more of a brush pen type thing, but I actually think it's a harder nib, nib or whatever it's called, tip. This here is a zebra something. Again, it's in Japanese. I cannot read it, but yeah, that's, this is an old pen. It definitely is more of a thicker brush pen. And then this here is the Sharpie S gel in a 05. I just wanted to pull pens that I would actually use because I don't have all the pens on the market, but these are ones that I do reach for often. This is a Tombow, this is the Tombow brush pen. I can't even write right now because, and I'm also not good with these pens. I just am not feeling well. Um, this is a mild liner. Let's see what else. This is the Hobonichi um, brush pen that came, I think, uh, was it two years ago? <laughs> My pens are all in the way too. Um, and I think that's all that I have because all of these are just the same types of pens. This is a fine Faber Castle. This is the fine liner in a 03. So that's a fine liner. Yeah, so this is the shadowing, the what's on the other side with all these different pens. As I've said, my favorite go-tos are these ones right here for like what I've actually been using in this book thus far. I don't know if that helps, but I definitely love seeing on the back side the writing. I also have a heavy hand, uh, so I definitely don't have a light hand. I know that plays a role in like writing and stuff, especially on Tomoe River paper. Um, 
just, I'm still in my jammies. I'm just going to put my pens back in this pen pouch. This pen pouch is from the Coffee Monsters Co. It is so cute. Um, I just moved into it actually yesterday. Well, I got my husband to help me, but yeah. I really like this pen pouch. It was from her anniversary, I believe, or her birthday sale. I scooped one up, and it is just adorable. Anyway, so I hope this helps some of you um, make the decision. My pre-sale for the A6, A5 standard and pocket size ones of these actually closed this morning. I might ex um, extend it even more. I already extended it a week um, but I probably won't, but you know, you guys are, free, I can't even talk. You guys are free to check it out on my website. Everything else is off the website while I am recovering. I cannot pack orders right now. I'm not allowed. Um, I cannot like reach my hands over my, um, what's it called? Shoulder height. So I can't run my machines or nothing. So I am off. Um, I know there's a lot of questions. I will be reopened probably in three weeks from now. At the end of October is my goal. We will see how I'm feeling, of course. My husband goes back to work, so I have to fully, um, what's it called, manage the both kids again by then anyways. But we'll see. I'm not going to rush myself. Um, anyways, you can check if the pre sale is open. Great, but it actually might be closed because I've already extended it quite a long time. So I just wanted to point that out there. And I am loving my B6 Freely Planned. Um, if you guys want to see how the calendar looks blank, this is how it looks blank. And of course, I have filled in quite a few calendars since. Um, and these stickers here are from Faded Chronicle. These months are from my Shop Planner Mikey Co. Same with these date dots. Um, they work great. I have just a lot of... Yeah, I love this stuff. This washi is from my shop. This washi is from Faded Chronicle. This washi is from my shop. So I've been loving it. And this is a little sneak peek at May, a new character that's going to come out once I reopen. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.